Welcome back to How to Trick a Fish. In this episode, I'm going to take you through the Hook Me Up Lures LRF Ultralight Box. It's not so much an unboxing because I actually helped design this box. I put together a package of everything I think you will need to start ultralight fishing in LRF style saltwater or in freshwater canals, rivers, etc. Um, it's pretty much a box of what I would want as a starter kit, but also a great top up um, if you're looking to top up your lure bag. I'll take you through what I put inside. Okay, so the first thing I thought you would need is a range of jig heads. So I put in the gunky jig heads. These are 2.5 grams, nice and light, and 1.5 grams bro jig heads. Got a slightly different shape to these. These are more of what I call a dart jig head, and these are more of a traditional sort of round jig head. Um, I like the darts for worm fishing, so a nice sort of worm bait on the back end. Great for mackerel, scab, pollock, herring, and um, loads of fun can be had with these. Um, especially night sessions in salt water, I have a great time fishing down in Plymouth at night. The round style jig heads I tend to use more for sort of wrasses, and they're great in the um, canal for perch, small pike, chub. They're also great with um, little shads on the back, so I use a small sort of two inch shad on the back for um, chub. Um, so yeah, I'll show you some more of those in a moment. I've put in some Spro, they're called Bottom Jigging Sinker, but most of you guys will know these as the Cheburescas. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as everyone keeps telling my videos, so Chebu Rashka, as someone said. Uh, the weight on these ones is 1.5 grams. Uh, if that's not quite heavy enough for you, I have got some split shots in the box in a moment I'll show you, so you can add a little bit of shot to it to sort of get you down faster if you need to. These are absolutely brilliant for making your baits articulated, so you, I'll show you in another video on how to rig these, but you put a hook on one side of it and the hook's able to sort of move freely, so which is really, really good for sort of giving the extra movement to your lures. I use these in salt water for all different species and I've been using them recently quite successfully for perch, especially with some larger hooks and some larger baits. So I can use a really, really lightweight with a larger bait and get that um, lure sort of swimming quite shallow over some reed beds. I had a decent perch on these recently. This is my favorite small crankbait. It is the Gunky Gamera 39F. This is a color jungle cricket. I got one of these from the fishing show in Farnborough a couple of years ago, and I've absolutely destroyed chub and perch on it. I loved it that much that I insisted that it be put into this box as the one and only crank in the box, because it's the one I've had the most success on over the last couple of years. As I said, split shot. So I think for ultralight fishing, being able to change your weight quickly, there's nothing better than having these in your pocket. Um, it's a good range of different sizes in here, so you could actually use a single shot instead of a drop shot, um, depending on how the, what the wind's like or what the tide's like in the sea or how fast the flowing river you are. Obviously, you can put several on together. Um, I actually prefer split shot to um, drop shot because I find that they... Um, pinch on better sometimes than the drop shot um, clips do. So yeah, so good range of split shot there. Loads of different uses. I put in a little clip here. Um, I will cut to a picture of it on a rod. Um, I believe these are from Spro. Um, the idea of this is it's a drop shot clip. So you put one side of it around your rod and when you are walking around with your um, rig still hanging loose, you can put your weight and it stops your weight swinging around. So if you've walked along with a drop shot, you'll know that the drop shots will tend to swing around your line and get tangled up. Um, I've seen these and I thought it'd be a great addition to the box and save you a lot of uh, tangles and when you're walking around. I'll be honest, I've not actually used this before. I added it in because I wanted one myself. It is a Toka rig, I believe it's called. Is that right? Yes, Toka rig. So it's a bit like a miniature drop shot rig. So what you do is you attach um, a lure clip to the top and whichever sort of bait you're using or whichever um, hook you're using. So I'd use an offset worm hook maybe, a weedless hook with a lure on the back of it. And then it's sort of weighted at the bottom three grams. So it keeps your lure literally sort of two to three inches off the bottom of the water. So if you've got a bit of weed there or you wanted to sort of fish a bit like a drop shot, but really, really close to the bottom, just off the bottom, it's all ready to go. You literally just put your um, lure clip on, like I said, and your worm bait. So I'll show you in a moment. If you put a shadow or something on the back of it, um, it's a nice rig to try. I've seen these used very successfully in a couple of videos on YouTube. I'm going to get out and use this very, very soon, and I'll put that out soon as well. Next in, I have put in some 
uh, column weights, chipper column weights. So um, you can use these instead of drop shots if you want, or you can actually use the clip on them and you can attach a hook or a lure straight to the rigs, a bit similar to the tocker. It sort of keeps your lure very, very close to the bottom. Um, it's just a different presentation. Um, I'll, I'll set a couple up and put some pictures on the video. I put this in because in a recent box that I got, uh, which was the gold box and my first box I got from Hook Me Up Lures, there was a skirted jig and I love fishing with it. I've caught some really, really good perch, a couple of pike on it. Um, so I wanted to put one in. Um, I haven't tried them in salt water yet, but I'm absolutely certain they're still going to be very successful. Um, I thought something that if you haven't tried yet, it'd be good to try. I'd like to see what um, catches the LRF guys get with these. Um, this is the Strike King Bitsy Bug Mini Jig. It's a one eighth, one eighth of an ounce. Um, it's a decent size, so um, hopefully you guys will like this and get some decent fish on it soon. I'm going to make a couple of videos of this also. I put in a range of hooks. These are very small size 8 Gamakatsu worm hooks. So they're offset so you can fish them weedless. The reason I picked Gamakatsu is it's a brand that I absolutely trust. Super sharp. I use Gamakatsu hooks nearly all the time. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love Gamakatsu hooks. Um, perfect for micro soft baits, um, small shads, little worm baits. If you're using isomay or gulf on your RF rigs, these are a great way to fish them weedlessly. You could put these on a drop shot or in a Texas rig, Carolina rig, Toka rig, any of the bits and bobs we've shown you so far. So it'd be a really good combination for the um, for the jicker weights or the Toka rig that I put in. I put in some Spro Micro drop shot hooks. So these are slightly differently shaped to a traditional worm hook, and I just think they're great for drop shots. So it's an open circle hook, and um, you can the way it's sort of shaped, you can actually put a small sort of worm or small. Um, a small worm or maybe a small shad or similar um, so the head's over the edge of the hook and it still leaves the hook point free uh, it's a great for hookup baits when using drop shots and again Spro is a brand that I trust I've used a lot of Spro gear Spro freestyle lure clips so I've gone for the three millimeter size 7.5 kilogram rated I use these all the time and um, Mainly I use them for attaching jig heads, cranks, small metals, stuff like that. Um, you could put a weedless, weightless um, hook straight on with a um, soft bait if you want to. Um, the main reason I like these is rather than having to retie 20, 30 times in a session, you can attach and then just change as you go. Obviously, if you're doing a drop shot, you might want to take this off and then tie directly to your rig. I have picked three soft baits for this box, starting with these Spro Freestyle Shads. They're called the Finesse Lures for Drop Shot and Jigging, Slug Shads, 37mm, and the colour on these is Glitter Roach. I think these are going to kill just about everything you try and use them for. Schooly Bass, Pollock, possibly even small enough for Mackerel, definitely small enough for Scad and Herring. And These would be great on a jig head or just about any of the rigs that I've shown you so far from this box. These are an all-round great small shad. Perch will nail these. I'm absolutely certain they'll also do very well for chub in the summer months on a very light jig head. The way I most certainly cert um, fish for chub myself is with jig head and a small shad like this. So um, yeah, I really hope that you guys like these too. And the next two are both from the same brand and I've got the Keist, the Keita Easy Shiner in two inch. So if you guys follow any of the sort of top LRF guys from the UK on social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, I won't shout any names and embarrass anybody, but everybody is absolutely killing on these lures at the moment. I know that some of the bass guys are also doing very well on the larger versions of these for bass. Um, I've been desperate to get hold of a pack myself to try, and I think they are going to absolutely nail schooly bass, pollock, perch, chub, pike just about anything they swim in front of but i know the guys are doing very very well on these with rafts they're using the offset hooks and they're using them on sort of um drop shot rigs as well as chevaresca rigs and they're catching lots and lots of um lots and lots of rafts on these at the moment i can't wait to try them to be honest um, i know a few guys are doing very well the way it was suggested to me is that if you use this with a chevaresca 
because um, of the articulated movement, it almost replaces a very well-known French brand that a lot of us don't like to spend too much money on because we, we lose them too often and then there's a soft plastic. I, I think you know which ones I'm saying, I'm not going to slag them off, but they're, they're an amazing lure, but this is almost just as good as a replacement um, with the Trevor Reshka rig. And obviously you get a lot more in a packet for your money than you do if you were to use the original French brand. Next I put in is the custom leech from Keytech also. So I love worm baits. This is a very, very cool articulated worm bait. It's got lots of ribs in there. It, the movement is fantastic. What I mainly like about these is the versatility. So even though they're quite long in the thing, I think they are three inches yet, you can cut these down. So if you want to make shorter baits, you can. I mean, if you wanted to keep the head on and use the whole thing, great. But if you wanted to make these smaller, you can use a pair of scissors or your lure clips, whatever, to cut these down. Um, I'd use these in all different sizes and lengths and shapes, and they are great, especially while out fishing for fishing for pollock. Um, I use these recently for scab as well, and they would be great when the mackerel are around if you're using a jig head for these for mackerel. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying them also for wrath. I haven't really done a lot of wrath fishing with soft plastics yet. Um, I mainly do uh, isomain gulp, so I'm really keen to try and get away from using the artificial baits as they're called and concentrating on my soft plastic fishing over the next 12 months. If you want to see another unboxing video, check out this one here or this one here. Thank you.